We start off with onion sweating down in the pan, okay, with a little bit of the spray oil. Now into that we're going to put some garlic, chopped garlic, there's about four cloves into that, some chopped green chilies and some cumin seeds, okay? So, so no seeds in the chilli? You're taking the seeds out? In, in the, yeah, because yeah. I've heard a little rumour that you two don't like it super no, 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 hot. No, no, no. He's so all right. I'm, I'm, I'm as hot as it comes. <laughs> OK, OK, so no. this one's then for Ruthie. If one I'm of you, mild. I'll tell you what, yeah. I'll move this feeler. One of you can chop me some potatoes. Yeah, Which I'll would chop. be great. So we've got some potatoes that are already chopped here. If you could do those the same, that'd be great. Now, one of the keys to this, this is actually the flavour that you get from the mince. Now, what I do with the mince mm -hmm. is this is pork mince, relatively lean, and then I put it on a tray and I bake it in the oven, OK? Oh, and so it gets roasted this. in the oven. Now, the reason yeah. why I do this is flavour, so OK? You? So it's really dry, it's gone all yeah. crispy. It's like, now, you know when you like char grill steak yeah. or, or you put a burger on a barbecue? That little crispy bit at the outside bit, if everyone has roast beef on a Sunday, it's the outside yes. bit that you want, the end pieces. But then you're going to rehydrate that, idea. That's you? exactly what ah, happens. So okay. what happens, the garlic, the chilli, the cumin seeds, getting toasted off and cooked out with the onion. Now, at this point, we're going to put in Madras curry powder, OK? So it's not too hot. Mm -hmm. Some ground cardamom and a good pinch of salt. Now, the salt also helps to soften the onions and the garlic. Oh, straight it? away, those flavours, yeah, salt draws moisture. Oh, right. So instead of it being fried in oil to soften it, where salt draws moisture, it's almost steaming it. And straight away, those smells, they come to get you... That curry smell, yeah. it's amazing, isn't it? Now then, at this point, we're going to put this mince in. So this lovely toasted mince, and it... it look, I mean, it's like... Does that add to the flavour because you've toasted huge it? Huge amount of flavour. Now, this, we cook it at about 200 degrees centigrade, and it's roasted for mm, the best that. part mm. of... I mean, 30 minutes, it could take an hour. And don't stress it. You could do it the day before if you want to. There's really okay. no worries. And then keep it, keep it in the fridge. And you stir it around, it all looks quite dry and quite... Well, yeah. it doesn't look like a... Not looking at the most appetising thing I've seen you make. Tom. Unlike no, my potatoes. Yeah. Trust me, at this point... That Unlike my potatoes grown. grown in my own garden, Tom. <laughs> That's amazing. What, yes. what I do like is the, the, the way that they're all exactly the same size <laughs> so that they will cook evenly. Yeah. Thanks, Eamon. Thank you. <laughs> OK, so... <laughs> I don't so... know why you bother, because that's just like you. <laughs> I try and help, I'm always <laughs> criticised. Now, at this point, we want all that flavour to come alive again. We want that pork we, all, all, to rehydrate so it moistens up again. So, into that. Chicken stock. And then this is beef consomme. So it's two layers of flavour. You could just use one or the other. Right, so do you buy that in a tin? Tinned beef consomme. Yeah. I mean, it's, it, it's pretty much in every supermarket. Yeah. And it's instead of buying, you know, crumbly stock cubes and that sort of yeah. stuff, OK? So at this point, you bring it up to the boil and you're going to reduce it down until it thickens. And also, we're going to put in the beautifully, wonderfully diced potatoes. Beautifully diced, with love. With love heart and soul and care, <laughs> and, and they so go in, and that's going to cook out. So this is going to take around about 20 to 25 minutes. So as the sauce is reducing down, the meat is rehydrating and all that flavour's coming together and the potatoes are cooking. Okay. And you end up with a mixture like oh, this. Oh, it smells okay? so good. So straight away, mm. you can see it's now looking moist, it's looking delicious, but all that roasted flavour of baking that mince has come it's all through. all got in there. And into that, we then put in peas, and these are frozen, frozen peas, I love frozen okay? Frozen peas. And they just get stirred in right now, last minute. And what happens is they kind of start defrosting because of the heat that's coming from the pan. And that now looks straight a gorgeous samosa mix, okay? It so smells... normally you could chill this and then you would put wrap it in your samosa phyllo pastry layers. Oh mm. smell. But we're gonna put it smell this. The... Right, so phyllo pastry. Phyllo pastry, little spray of oil. And then on top of that, nigella seeds. So these are like... Are they from poppies, nigella seeds? No, they no. come from the nigella flower. OK. And then... Oh, I thought you crunch. meant they were, like, made by nigella. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they're not made... Oh. Well, I don't... She, you know, she's very good at everything. She might have made she them. She might have made mm -hmm. them. And you just so literally... So we're coming to the end of the programme, Tom. I'm still starving. OK. <laughs> yeah, no there must problem. be a cooked one somewhere. There is a There'll cooked be a one, don't worry. So you go earlier. through this. So this serves six. And we scrunch it up so you get all six. Tom, I know you don't do top. much live TV, but <laughs> and into the we're seriously about to fall off there. Here we and go. And then it bakes. Right, Here's the one that. we've made earlier. 
for 20 to 25 minutes so they're crispy and golden on the top. And then let's get the our aim. How do we serve this? Oh, good man, good man. There we go. Right. Thanks, Ruth. Okay. It's all right. So, a fusion of flavours here. That's it, exactly like that. Like Baked that. in the oven. 20, <gasps> 25 minutes. Heck. Crispy, golden, flavour. The potatoes are particularly lovely. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Mm. Yes, I'm loving the, um, the curry flavours through that as well. Not too hot, though. Oh, not too hot. Tom, thank you very much Delicious, indeed. Tom. Really appreciate Absolute it. Pleasure.